Dolphins can be found all over the world, from the cold Atlantic waters, like our resident dolphins here in Newquay, or the warmer seas of the Bahamas, and all the way to the Pink River dolphins in the Amazon. Whilst we don't know exactly how a dolphin spends every hour of the day, we do know they're likely to be spending some time hunting and feeding, socialising, exploring, and at some point, catching up on some sleep. So let's take a look at what a day in the life of a dolphin might look like. Bottlenose dolphins, like the ones we have in Cardigan Bay, are very smart animals, and they've developed several different methods to successfully hunt a range of prey. This includes activities such as trapping and confusing them by using clouds of mud and sand that they can stir up from the bottom, as well as blowing bubbles to get prey species out of difficult to reach areas. And this was something that was actually previously reported to staff in Yuki and then investigated by them. As well as this, they can undertake activities such as stunning fish by throwing them out of the water, making them easier for them to catch. Dolphins will eat a wide range of things, including several species of fish, such as herring or salmon. But as well as this, they will also eat crustaceans and squid, with their diet varying very much depending upon where they're living. Dolphins communicate through high-pitched clicks and whistles, and these are projected from the front of their head in an area called the melon, which is kind of like their forehead. And they can also use these sounds to perform echolocation, which allows them to see things through sound, and also means that they can catch fish even if they can't see them when it's sandy or when it's been particularly rough and there's lots of sediment that's been stirred up. As highly intelligent animals, bottlenose dolphins do still like to have fun, and it's thought that riding the bow waves of boats is one of the ways that they do this. Dolphins live in something called a fission fusion society, and what this means is that individuals will come and go from different groups quite sporadically and so they won't stay with one pod for the whole of their life. However, it has been found that some male bottlenose dolphins form strong relationships with each other and these can last a lifetime. It's thought that these provide them with advantages in finding a mate. Dolphins aren't monogamous animals, so they will have multiple partners. And it is only the mothers who are involved with the raising their calves, and the males leave shortly after they've bred. As they are highly intelligent, they do also like to explore around their environments. Though this is often motivated by searching for food, they will investigate and explore different areas to see if there's anything of interest there for them. Some individuals choose to stay in the same place year round, but others will travel to different areas on a seasonal basis. And this results in what we call a semi-resident population, much like what we have here in Yuki, where there are a core group of around 30 dolphins who can be found within the bay and the area all year round, whereas the rest of the group disperses and moves north over winter before returning to Newquay in spring the following year. As fairly large and intelligent animals, bottlenose dolphins have very few natural predators, although the larger species of sharks may occasionally predate upon them given the chance, as well as killer whales. Though fortunately for us here in Cardigan Bay, it is too shallow for any of these species. As marine mammals, dolphins are conscious breathers. And this means that, unlike you or I, they have to actively think about and choose when to take a breath, which is very useful for when they're foraging and socialising under the water, but makes sleeping a bit more of a challenge. 
So, when they decide that they need some sleep, they'll only rest half of their brain at a time. And this allows the other half to take over the actions such as surfacing and taking a breath. As this makes them a little more vulnerable than normal, often one member of the pod will remain fully awake to keep an eye out for danger, and will alert the rest of the group by smacking the water's surface with their tail. Just like us, dolphins are at their best when they can get 8 hours of sleep per day. But they will do this in chunks, so with each half of the brain eventually receiving 4 hours of rest. Dolphins will sleep pretty much whenever they feel like it, both during the day and at night. As we've mentioned previously, bottlenose dolphins use sound to communicate, and they conduct echolocation to help them hunt. And this makes them especially vulnerable to noise pollution, which is something that can have a very detrimental effect on them, and is caused primarily by us human beings as a species through activities such as fishing and seismic surveys and all sorts of other activities based upon the water. Even things like kayaking can have an effect. Another way that we do endanger them is through fishing with entanglement being a real issue and ghost fishing gear, so gear that has been cut from ships or lost and just gets sent around with the ocean currents can still entangle them and as they have to come up to the surface to breathe this can essentially cause them to drown. Here at Sea-Watch we collect data from volunteers all around the UK who send us information on all sorts of amazing animals that they've seen around our coast. And this allows us to maintain a fairly clear picture of the marine mammals that are present in UK waters as well as the health of the various populations. And further to this, our flagship project monitors the semi-resident population of bottlenose dolphins present within Cardigan Bay, ensuring that the population is happy, healthy and well protected. You can visit our website to find out more information about what we do, how to get involved and our Adopt a Dolphin scheme. You can also submit any dolphin, whale or seal sightings there or via our Sea Watcher app.